Hey, I'm Kayla, half of K&K Critiques, and today I'm going to be talking about the Divin Restaurant and Hookah Lounge. Okay, so we got two different types of appetizers. We got the spicy shrimp and the crab uh, risotto croquettes. So basically with the crab croquettes, they kind of tasted like a lemon square and you can barely taste the crab. I didn't really like it and I would not get that again. It looked like a hush puppy. I guess it's supposed to be like a crab cake, but okay and with the spicy shrimp it came with a cucumber yogurt it was like a blackened shrimp it was spicy but the cucumber yogurt actually made it like i don't know it wasn't as spicy but you could still taste it and it was good actually so i would definitely recommend that um so let's get into let me stop. Okay, so for the entrees, we got the lamb shank, the salmon, like Alfredo basically, and then the salmon instead of with the pasta, got the rice. So with the lamb shank, it came with pomegranates on it. That's what you see at the top. I've had pomegranate flavored things, but never on meat or food or actual seeds. So I tested it and I didn't eat it with the meat, but it was straight. So it came in like a super stew or whatever. So, like, so um, the meat was like falling off the bone. I didn't really like the rice. I think everything just, you have to have an acquired taste for it. And I didn't, I should have stuck to what I knew and got the salmon because it looked really good. And from what I heard, it was good. It was nice and creamy and it smelled good. It had like mushrooms and you know, all that good stuff in it. But yeah, so would I go back? Yes, to get the salmon. The lamb was cooked well. I just didn't like the rice. It was just very different than what I'm used to. And I guess that's why I didn't like it. But overall, it was a nice vibe in there. Think of like Sex in the City, eating out type shit. Um, <laughs> but yeah. And then downstairs was the hookah lounge and they played music. They had a bar on the other side. It was nice. We took pictures and everything. It's interesting how it looks like a castle on the outside because you would never think there's actually something in there. And you got a valet park. And the other thing is kind of expensive. The entrees each plate was $30, so I don't know if I would really go back for that, but it was a nice experience, so it was cool. So, thanks for watching, and maybe I should try it out.